So in this short video, I want to explain about the benchmarking tool. So what you need to do is click into your control room and you'll see tools at the bottom and select benchmark. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually create a new benchmark. You do that simply by clicking on create new benchmark. What you're now faced with is a 12 question questionnaire. And what I ask you is about questions specifically about the job role. So you need a different benchmark for each specific job role that you're thinking about. And all the questions pertain to the role itself. So in this example here, which one of these is most important for this job role? So only a person who's familiar with the job role can answer these questions and can create and design the personality benchmark. So in this case here, we're given four choices. The job requires people to act responsibly and able to make impartial decisions. Providing inspiration and enthusiasm to colleagues is a requirement. Being calm and customer focused is expected. A structured and reflective approach would enhance outcomes. So you have to pick which one is most important for the job role itself. Even if you agree with all of these and you think these are all important, pick the one that's most important. Once you have done so, you'll then be asked to Pick which one is least important. So if you had to do away with one, what would it be? And it forces you to choose. This is a forced choice questionnaire, so it's not always easy to answer. But if you take about 10 minutes, what you will do is you will create the psychological profile of the ideal candidate for that job role. Based on what you understand and what you believe you are looking for, for that particular job role. And it's a very powerful tool, very powerful tool. So once you've done all that, it will create a personality benchmark for that specific job role, and you'll be asked to give it a name. I generally suggest that you give it the name, say it was an, an admin worker, so you would maybe, if that was the role you were talking about, I suggest you give it the name admin worker um, benchmark. And if you include the word benchmark in there, then you'll recognize it immediately when you see it in your control room. Let me take you back to how this actually ends up then once you're in the control room. So if we go back to Benchmark, this is one I've created earlier called Demo 2 Benchmark. And the first thing you'll see is the quadrant. So it gives you right away, it tells you the quadrant at least, which is the broad brush approach of the personality type that you're actually looking for. Now there's a lot of personality types within that quadrant, but at least it lets you see what you're dealing with. And if you want to view the benchmark report, and this is where some people get confused, so let me explain this. The benchmark report will look identical to the candidate report. So if this is a benchmark report for an admin role. So let's say I created an admin role personality report, I designed that, then I would use the exact same design for the benchmark because what I want to do is compare apples with apples. So I would then compare the, um, the new candidate, I would put their report beside my benchmark report and in structure and layout and in design they would both be identical, they would both have the same topics except one of them would have your candidate's name on it and would have been answered by the candidate, the other one has been produced by the system based on the answers you gave in the, in the benchmark questionnaire and it will be called whatever you called it so you'll see that there. So it's, a, it's a easy to get confused on that one but once you've got it it's really pretty straightforward and what you're looking for is candidates who share this a similar, doesn't need to be identical, but a similar report to your personality benchmark report. What your benchmark report essentially is, is your ideal candidate. I hope that makes sense. It's a really powerful tool. Normally you would have to spend thousands of pounds on a consultant to come in and give you an opinion. Uh, this way you can do it very quickly yourself. So you know what it is that you're looking for in terms of personality. It effectively reverse engineers what you understand of the job role and then re-expresses that in terms of a psychological profile.